One of the biggest questions of educational psychology is the question, how should you react as an educator, at, as a parent or as a teacher, if children show problematic behaviors? Behaviors of which we think, well, it's quite stupid. Why do you do that? I know it's better if you don't do it, so please don't do it. But of course, the child itself doesn't realize that this actually is the better behavior. Of course, in psychological research, many strategies have been evaluated to prevent children from bad behaviors. And one particular strategy, which has been evaluated in the meta-analysis of parenting programs, is the so-called natural consequence, or sometimes also the logical consequence. So a natural consequence might be, for example, if your child loses his football or crashes the tennis racket because it's so angry that it loses a match, then it's not very helpful to get angry and to say, why did you do that? I always tell you, don't forget your football, don't crash your tennis racket. Um, maybe it's much more helpful to uh, use a natural consequence by just saying, okay, that's really bad. Actually, I feel sorry for you. It must be hard to have lost your football again or to have crashed your tennis racket. Maybe we can find a way that you can earn some money to buy a new tennis racket or to buy a new football. Another example might be that if a child is always late in the morning for making his own lunchbox um, and you also sometimes get angry and say, well, why don't, aren't you ready yet? Um, we have to go now. Uh, the bus will go in five minutes and your lunchbox is still not ready. Oh, come on, we don't have the time for that. Uh, I, I will do it for you, but it, this is the last time. And then you go there and uh, you uh, make the lunchbox for your child once again. And of course, your child doesn't learn anything. Probably it's better if the child has to experience what it means if it doesn't have a lunchbox ready for school and maybe at school it has to borrow some money from somebody else to uh, buy something or maybe it just has to use its own pocket money to buy something expensive to eat. In this way children learn that actions really have consequences and they learn to take over responsibility. And that these kinds of natural consequences can be very effective could be shown in a meta-analysis, which I already mentioned, in which they compared parenting programs either with natural or logical consequences or other parenting programs in which natural or logical consequences were not taught to parents. And the parenting programs with natural and logical consequences on average were much more effective than the other ones. So the next time when your child shows some problematic behavior, of course it's always quite subjective what is problematic, but maybe the next time you want to try some natural or logical consequences, just think about what be a logical consequence. I mean in many circumstances it's quite obvious, for example if a child is playing much longer with the PlayStation than you allowed it, then you might say, okay, now we take the PlayStation away for two days until you are able to stick to what we have agreed on. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you want, we will see you next time. <laughs>